Well, in a previous movie, we showed that in GCAD Plus you could store non-graphic information directly in the drawing file. That gives you an opportunity to store lots of extra data that doesn't take up much space, which can be potentially useful. And it's referred to as extended data. So if I move to the status line down here and click on Ent, show or hide entity data, nothing appears to have happened. But as I move into the drawing and hover over and around, let me just click to make sure we're back in the drawing space. If I come near individual elements in the drawing, such as this one, this is showing me that that particular symbol there is uh, refers to us to Enkelema tomentosa. If I actually click on the symbol itself, over here in the properties box, we also get that information. But that properties box is limited just a little into as to what it can show. So let's hit the escape key and remove that. But let's move over. Uh, here's a, a major tree in the design and uh, it's the Japanese maple and uh, we've got lots of information stored about that particular tree including a link to uh, image files that where GCAP Plus can jump away from here and go out into the net and look at image files. So let's have another look, a deeper look at the tools that you've got. So GCAD Plus, extended data. If we want to add information to say a symbol, but it could be uh, information to say uh, furniture or information about paving, telephone numbers, uh, who you've contracted to do a particular task and so on are all there. One of the more useful ones as, as you work with the drawing such as this is to highlight entities with extended data. So we can click it and then we can scroll out a little and you can see that across this design uh, quite a number of entities have had extended data associated with them. So again let's hit escape and you can see here that there's that same symbol that we looked at over here in the area there, that same symbol, that tree, is also somewhere else on the site. And that leads me to another tool in this group, and that is that you can propagate stored data. So using that tool, I can move, if you like, or copy the extended data from one symbol to all the examples of that symbol in the design. So if you look here, this symbol is for Westringia fruticosa. Uh, but if I hover over the adjacent one here, it's not showing it, nor is that one. And there are other instances of uh, Westringia uh, in the design. So I could use, and see we've got extended data associated with this particular instance, that one there has the data associated with it. Let's hit escape, but click that one. There is no extended data, although it's been tagged to an entry in the plant database file itself. So if we go here, schedules and lists and edit the plant data. Whoops, I haven't actually, I've stripped it off from here so I can't demonstrate that one. But I can demonstrate GCAD plus extended data and I can propagate it. And the prompt says, here we go, pick that one and hit the enter key and select other examples of it. So now, can you see that it's just propagated across the whole drawing and put extra data in there. So let's select this one here. That one is the lavender. And if we click on the adjacent one, so that's propagated as well. Let's take an example. What I'm hoping to find is uh, an example where we, we haven't got any, any data there at all. 
and you come over here you know that's not an example what I should do I need to try and find one particular one here's a fire pit so let's assume you wanted to give information or store information in here uh, about the manufacturer or type of that fire pit so we would go GK plus extended data store the data and we click in there and if you look down in the status line here we have to first tell GK plus do we have is this paving decking irrigation or furniture grass lighting or species well in this case we type F for furniture and we can indicate the size the manufacturer the cost and product name just by filling out those particular details. What I did want to show is how you can have those links to show you an example of the species. So what I'm looking for here is if you look in the pop-up for the extended data we do have a link to an image file so if I again go to GK plus extended data the way to access that is to click store it and click in here that pops up this box and there's the URL being stored and if I click and link to that URL can you see that GK plus jumps out and shows me a copy of that an image file associated with that particular species and that could be of great use to your clients. You could give your clients access to uh, GK Plus. You can tell them to install the uh, demo version of GK Plus and all of this extra information that you've put in your design file uh, will be available to them and hopefully uh, they'll ask you for more and put more information in and send them another copy of the drawing file. So I hope you find external, yeah, sorry, extended data uh, a very interesting possibility in the GK Plus environment.